What's going on, people? So, got a box in from Adidas recently. I'm not sure which one this is, because I got two in, you know? But I'm not sure which one this is. I'll find that out when I open it. Normally, I do my unboxings separately from the video. Well, I don't say normally, but lately I kind of got into that habit just because it was a nice way to kind of sit back and talk to some people and have a reason to do it, because I like doing the live things. It's just that if I don't have a real, actual reason to sit here and turn this camera on and, well, that camera on because it's a webcam when I do that, I'm not going to do it, right? I'm not just going to get on here just for the sake of being on here. But if there's something to talk about, fantastic. I will. But sometimes I just need to get things done, right? And so in this case, I need to just get things done. Otherwise, I'll end up in that same situation like last time. Getting things on track, there's the side of the box for you right there. So this, I don't remember what colorway this was called, but it doesn't much matter, now does it? So anyways, that's the thing, right? Doing this, you get to see the, like the live reactions and all that good stuff, so I guess that's cool for you sometimes, right? But anyways, how's this thing looking? That's the real question right now. Because it's been a long time coming, this particular pair of shoes, because I've had my eye on them since they came out. And they have not let me down. So I am very thrilled about that. I get that it doesn't really show, like, my emotions or whatever, but just know that I'm very happy with the way this shoe looks. So, you know, you, you just got to take my word for it. Anyways, looking things over, everything looks good, so that's cool. Go ahead and set this guy down over here. And now we're going to get on into this review over this right here, the Adidas Ultra 4D 5.0 in some kind of gray and white and a little bit of a pinkish color colorway. I really should start looking these things up sometimes. So let's go ahead and start things with the bottom. Down there, what you're looking at is pretty much like the standard type of outsole that you're going to see on a 40, Ultra 40 shoe and a lot of other 40s. Supposedly it is continental according to what their website has said, but it's not labeled on here. So I don't know. I don't always trust their website to be completely honest because I've seen some things that weren't quite right before. Anyways, moving on up here to the midsole, right? That's one of the stars of the show, if you will. So that's going to be just like your standard 4D stuff, but not in that standard weird green 4D color. I say weird green because it is kind of a weird green, but I do like it. But anyway, so it's going to be just that, right? And then giving you guys a quick overview of like the actual upper of the shoe, what it all looks like and all that good stuff. You can kind of see what we're up against. It's got a lot of different stitching and all that stuff. And I'm gonna tell you right now, right? In, in the past, I've done a couple videos of things like this where I do compare like each one and or each stitching pattern and tell you where it came from as far as like Ultra Boost one through four or whatever. I'm not doing that this time, but I will have a link above to the video that you can watch if you want that little comparison. There should be timestamps in there because there's almost always timestamps in there. So just skip to the part that has the comparison and then you'll know what's going on with these. Cool. Now, getting into this, down around the toe box and all that good stuff, right? On the outside, and I'm not gonna like highlight all the different things that are happening, but you know, you just kind of got like the standard gray that kind of looks like it would be like the standard toe guard type of thing. And then from there, it just kind of starts going into whatever it's doing, you know? Lots of different stuff happening through these. So. I'll just get you like the shots of the toe box and all that so you can see like the, the different stitching and everything like that. So it does look pretty cool in my personal opinion, but hey, my opinion may not really affect yours. Hopefully it doesn't affect yours, but I just throw it out there from time to time. Moving back just a little bit here over to the side, you got that same type of cage setup that you have on pretty much all the Ultra Boost, pretty much, not, but not all. In this case, it's going to be like a darkish gray sort of color but it still has sort of an opaque vibe to it if you look on the outsides of it. So there's that for you. And behind there, again, different sort of stitching pattern. Moving back further, right? So over here, you do have the Ultra Boost, excuse me, the Ultra 4D logo on the side of this heel cup. And this is kind of in a gradient sort of vibe because it has like an orange at the top and then a pink at the bottom. So it's kind of a cool color. It makes it, look, it, makes it stand out just a little bit. 
And then above that, you have yet another stitching pattern from yet another Ultra Boost, right? So there's that for you, right? Not a whole lot to say about it, but it's some good stuff because it is prime knit and I do like the prime knit. It gives you a lot of comfort, you know, a lot of breathability, but that stuff will come back into play later in, you know, a couple minutes from now. Anyway, so that about sums up all that stuff. So we're just going to switch back over to the laces area and talk about that for a second. Now, the laces that you generally get on Ultra Boost, there's nothing special about them. It's a lot like standard Air Max laces, you know? Just flat, plain color to match up with whatever color is going on. In this case, you got some sort of darker gray, right? It matches up somewhat with what you saw at the bottom of the toe box area. So you have that happening, and that's pretty much it. Above that, you do have the tongue type area, and I'm not sure if that's 3M on the tongue tab, but I'll figure that out. And then you have a pretty thick feeling stitching going on that's just all dark gray right there at the top as well. So that sums up things as far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna jump on into the inside. Down there, what you're looking at, it just says Ultra 4D on the inside. It says that on both of them. And it's gonna be an orange insole with a black font, right? So. Past that, not much else to say. You do, in the back area, have a nice feeling. It feels pretty smooth, actually, you know, for the inside there. And you got some of those nice little patch or pillow type areas on around the ankle. Give you a little bit of comfort in there. So I do like that. Kind of helps. Every little bit helps, you know, when it comes to making the shoe comfortable or whatever. But otherwise, I believe that's pretty much it, right? So let's go ahead and move on from all that now that you've seen everything there is to see about these. And I'll give you some personal thoughts, then we'll knock out the comfort slash sizing portion and then go our separate ways. Well, no, not completely, because I still got one more video after this. But anyways, here's the thing, right? Personally, I'm really into these, I am. I wanted this pair long, a long time ago when they first started releasing and all that, and I saw this one. I ended up getting the black and white pair, or whatever you want to call that, like Zebra, Orco, Orca, Oreo, whatever you want to call it. I got the black and white pair because it was a pair on sale. And I waited and waited and finally got these. And so now that I'm looking at them, like I said in the beginning of the video, I really like the way these came out, right? I don't know what it is about them that just drew me in, but it doesn't matter. I liked them, I got them, and now that I'm seeing them in hand, I like them even more. So that's really what you want when you buy something, right? I mean, right? So, past that, I'm thinking that I'm done with this model, honestly. Not because of anything bad about it, but I mean, how many of one do you need? I'm cool with the, it's cool with the other one, but this one even more so. So I think that there's really just no reason for me to go on any further, right? I mean, how many, how many of something do you really need? I mean, that's a serious question. Go comment that down below. Anyways, I don't think there's a whole lot else to really say about my personal thoughts other than that I was glad to finally get these on sale, right? Because that is the thing that I wanted. I didn't want to pay the 180 because 180 is a lot of money and I know that these things weren't going to sell out. I knew that they weren't and they didn't. And so then I was able to get them for like 130 or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of cheap price. But yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So now let's go ahead and finish this thing up with some sizing, right? Okay, sizing wise, right? This, this I did buy in a nine and a half. I made that mistake in the last video. This is actually a nine and a half. These are actually a true to size fit in my personal opinion. So that's why I bought them in that size, right? Now, if you have any other Ultra Boost, they'll fit the same way. If you have, I'd say some other casual type shoes or whatever, like maybe some certain Air Maxes and stuff like that, buy that same size, like a Vapor Max or whatever. Otherwise, again, true to size is like the key words there. So, past that. Comfort-wise, we'll start with the upper, right? Upper is prime knit, so that's always gonna be a good thing. It's stretchable and breathable and lightweight. Very good, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to ask for in a shoe, in my personal opinion, but I do have a certain taste that may not line up with everybody else, so there is that to be considered. Then, moving on down here to the midsole, though, that's the big thing, right? now. A lot of people, myself included, have made comparisons to these versus Boost, and I get it, but at the same time, it's not necessarily the most fair because they're doing two totally different things, right? 
This is going to be a little bit stiffer than the Boost, but one of the advantages to that is that these won't bottom out like the Boost supposedly does. I haven't had that happen personally, but Adidas has acknowledged it, which is the reason they moved to Light Strike for certain things. And other people on the internet have also said that it happens, so it must be a thing. This, that's not gonna happen. No, it will get broken in over time. So if you put a pair on and it feels a little too stiff, a little too clunky, just ride it out for a minute and you should be okay. Now, I walked around on these like a good mile and a half or so around the block earlier today just because I needed a refresher on how they feel. So if you have a lot of shoes, sometimes you gotta do that, right? It happens. And I'll, I'll settle on saying that they are very nice to walk around in. Overall, compared to other 4D shoes, I would still say that my overall preference is the Future Craft or the 4D Forward, 4D FWD, because those just overall feel better. However, they don't have as many colors available, and the difference in comfort isn't enough to say that these aren't worth buying. So I would say that even though those two other ones are better, find the one that looks best to you because the difference, it's not that serious. So just buy the one that visually fits whatever you're going for and you'll be fine. I think that's enough out of me as far as like sizing and comfort. It felt like it covered everything. If it didn't, leave a question down below. Just make sure that question wasn't already answered because the response you get will not be the response you want. Now, that we're done here, time for me to close this thing up. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Go ahead, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Well, this video won't be going up today, will it? Enjoy the rest of your day or night, whatever. And come on back if you want to come on back. I'll probably have other videos up at some point. If you don't come back, I get it. Most of my views are actually unique views anyway. So not a whole lot of returns, return views. But the ones that do, I do appreciate you guys. I think that, you know, those ones and ones of people I mentioned in the last video, you guys, cream of the crop right here, right there. Later, people. I got a little curious and actually looked up the name of these. According to the Adidas site, Gray 5, Gray 5, and Gray 3. So I'm not sure what's worse, Nike making up weird names for theirs or Adidas just showing no effort whatsoever. Either way, there you go.